hi guys welcome back to all on law in this video I'm going to explain you about the axis of the heart so if this is the axis of the heart try to download sorry try to draw two perpendicular lines and on the upwards mark as a minus 90 and opposite to that as a plus 90 over here 0 on the other sides it's gonna be 180 so the heart fits into this like this okay so let me undo this so to know the how to calculate axis on ECG is look at the lead 1 and the AVF lead 1 and the AVF so what you need to do is on a lead 1 try to look for the R waves if R wave is a positive and the AVF and the R waves in the AVF is positive then it's a normal axis if in a lead 1 if the R wave is positive and but in AVF is a negative then it's gonna be left axis to remember this is a leaving each other so it's a left axis so now what is remain that is if R in the the R wave in the lead one is negative and in AVF if it's a positive then they are meeting each other then it's known as a right axis deviation so how to calculate based on this we saw a ECG and we got to know that this is a normal axis so basically we know that normal axis is nothing but normal axis from minus 30 to plus 110 uh, plus 90 okay so it's gonna be over here so remember it's gonna be here so if you're gonna take it over here minus 30 comes over here because 90 is here right so you're gonna come here and this is 90 so the axis is gonna be here this is the normal axis okay so now to look for uh, the what you call the left axis will take now to look for a, to see for a left axis you look for the lead one in the lead one it is a positive so lead one is remember this is a lead one okay and uh, lead two comes over here around 60 degree okay and this is the AVF very important and opposite to that what is the negative wave in AVF is this one minus 90 okay and lead 3 will come here remember lead 3 comes here so lead 1 lead 2 lead 3 AVF and this is this okay and uh, to look for that what you need to do is if it's a left axis deviation so in L1 if you get a positive wave so this is L1 okay so if you get a positive wave uh, what you need to do is uh, positive wave in this way and uh, sorry okay let me draw this huh. so in the, the lead one is if it's a positive wave and in uh, lead in AVF it's a negative wave so let me draw this in lead one is a positive and negative in the this one so let us take the AVF it is a negative AVF opposite to this is gonna be AVF so mark over here how many small squares you get in the ECG paper just mark over here negative AVF this is AVF right so opposite to this is a negative so ma mark this AVF you got a negative wave but there is a positive wave right the positive wave is how much you are getting positive wave of uh, what you call uh, uh, positive wave in lead one right so lead one is here so positive wave is how much you are getting around uh, what you call if you are getting small squares you calculate over here then you see this is going to be the this is going to be the left axis deviation left axis deviation LAD okay to look for the right axis deviation what you need to do is just look for this lead one negative wave right lead one is a negative wave and lead three uh, sorry in uh, AVF it's what, what is there it's a positive wave so positive wave is going to be here okay and the lead one is going to be negative so negative is over here right so it's gonna be here so this is right axis deviation okay guys so do you know 
so just small scales whatever you get over there just mark it at least you will get an idea where the axis lies based on the ECG and the one small square is equals to 0 0.04 how it comes to 0 0.04 is nothing but the speed of the ECG paper is 25 milliseconds millimeter per second so 1 by 1 square is going to be 1 by 25 so it's going to be 0 0.04 okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care